Could the Duff actually be a good movie? Well, let's find out in my movie review. Hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review the movie The Duff. So, The Duff stars Mae Whitman, Robbie Amell, and Bella Thorne. This film is about this girl named Bianca who hasn't realized her entire life that she has been The Duff until her neighbor Wesley at this party described to her that the duff means designated ugly fat friend. So when Bianca finds out that she's been the duff of her entire group because she has two friends that are much hotter and she's the person that's really there, Wesley, played by Robbie Amell, teaches Bianca the many steps to become the person that she is and to really enjoy the person that she is. So going into the duff, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I thought the trailers looked horrible. But just like with any movie, I did go in with an open mind. The Duff really surprised me. Like, wow! This movie was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to come out just straight up hating the Duff. But it was actually quite a refreshing surprise. Nice to see Mae Whitman here. I know she's done a blend of animation work and live action work, but to name off some, she voiced Katara and Avatar The Last Airbender, a very awesome show. She's also voiced Tinkerbell in those direct DVD Tinkerbell animated movies. And there's many more voice work. She had a minor role in The Perks of Being a Wallflower, and she did Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. So seeing Mae women in this movie was really cool and I gotta say that she does a really great job as this character named Bianca. May Whitman just embraces the role, she has a lot of charisma, she brings a lot of great screen presence. It could be because this character is so fleshed out, you feel bad for this character. May Whitman, she was just really great here. Robbie Amell, he went from True Jackson VP, a Nickelodeon show that I actually thought was really funny, to The Tomorrow People, a show on the CW network which I thought was actually very awesome until CW canceled it but then you see him in The Flash which I'm really enjoying right now that's an awesome show and I gotta say he does a really good job here Robbie Amell just like with Mae Whitman he brings a lot of screen presence and he just has so much charisma and the back and forth that he and Mae Whitman have together is really good. You believe in them. You just really enjoy seeing him as his character Wesley, who may not be the brightest guy, but he knows a lot when it comes to confidence. And you also have King Jong. He's not in this movie too long, but he does a really nice job. You also have Allison Janney as Mae Whitman's mom. She does a good job here. Mostly everyone in this movie just does a very nice job, including the actresses that play Mae Whitman's friends. The storyline has very clever writing to it. And it's because the writing is so well done and so well fleshed out that you're able to care about Mae Whitman's character and even Robbie Amell's character, Wesley. And I appreciate this film because it does have a very good message about not letting what others think of your appearance is. Be happy with who you are. Be happy with your appearance. Be confident about it. Don't let anyone judge you for who you are because everyone is going to be special in their own way and there should be no reason for anyone to put you down. Really love that aspect about the Duff. The direction was very fluid. It never felt like it lost itself. It had very nice shots to keep the movie flowing just very well. The movie definitely moves at a very fluid pacing. It's just the right amount of pacing to get through the Duff. And surprisingly, there are actually some funny moments to this movie. But there are problems to the Duff, though. One of the problems is actually Bella Thorne. Now, Bella Thorne, she's honestly the reason why I would sometimes watch that Disney Channel show Shake It Up, you know, back when it was still airing. And then she was in Blended, then she did Alexander the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, and now she's definitely way past her Disney Channel days 
after you see the duff. She was decent, but one of my cons with her is that she does try way too hard. Like some of the facial expressions that her character gave, it did kind of get on my nerves. Like there will be a few times where her character's expressions would be ugh or ugh. I credit her for trying a role that's different and far from her comfort zone, but yeah, I did feel like she tried uh, way too hard with her roles. It is also a very predictable and very cliched movie. You know where everything in the movie is gonna go. And the final problem I did have with this movie is that some of the dialogue does try a little too hard to be very raunchy. There's some parts of the movie where it does try to make you laugh, it's really forcing it down your throat and it really just isn't working and there will just be some spots where it just gets awkward because I'm not really laughing. Overall though, I was actually really surprised by the dove and how this movie does end is very satisfying. So I'm going to give the dove a solid 3 out of 4 stars. Definitely one of the more surprising movies of 2015. In the comments down below, let me know what did you think of the duff. This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.